Hello YouTube world, MacDaddy1911 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. Lesson one of using a sewing machine. Now this here is an ancient <laughs> universal model that was Kim's mom's and it's in a little cabinet and there it is. Okay, all sewing machines, no matter whether these new electronic jobs or an ancient model like this one, have certain features that are in common, okay? They all have, of course, uh, they all, of course, use thread in a big old spool like this one here and this one here. Okay, and they all have needles and it's got little eyes in them. Let me turn this little light on here. And you can see where the thread goes through the needle. Okay. They all have a bobbin. And there it is in the little holder. Okay. <clears throat> they all have different patterns that they can sew and they all have a reverse button somewhere on them so you can back it up so they're you know each one has its own peculiar pe peculiarities but they're all pretty much basically the same layout and learning to use each one uh, you know it's different and i don't have a more modern machine and it doesn't matter because i'm not doing see i'm not doing this uh, professionally so i don't care but i'm going to show you how the bait some of the basic operations of a sewing machine regardless of make model or whatever they're all you know pretty much universal as far as the types of controls and what they can and cannot do you just have to learn what each machine is capable of and where it's particular particular controls are at now you can probably find some videos on here from professionals that will be a whole hell of a lot better than this one but I'm going to give you um, a quick lesson okay we've got a piece of scrap camouflage BDU material this is probably from a uh, one of the reinforced areas like a knee or the butt or the elbow on the jacket Probably off the elbow of the sleeve that I, I made the um, the rifle sleeve out of. Okay. Um, first things first, you know, you've got these fancy pretty seams that they make um, where they fold it and reinforce the ends. You can do that or not. That is very difficult to get it that straight. I'll just be honest with you. Um, and I'm not a professional at this by any stretch of the imagination. But just say, for instance, we're going to sew these two pieces of material together for whatever reason <clears throat> first things first you have to have a your you have to have thread in your bobbin down here you have to have thread up here and it has to run down and through all its little gyrations in order to get down here and I just noticed it's not behind that where it's supposed to be then you have to um, have it out to the rear and so forth um, Anyone who's used one of these things before can tell you how to do this. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, all the controls on most of these things are very similar. You need to learn the peculiarities of it, and you got to be damn careful. Don't get in a hurry. You can sew yourself with that damn needle right here. Now, my fingernail right here, when I was a kid, when I first started learning how to do this, we were sewing uh, up uh, championship belts like wrestlers have and boxers have. Uh, my brother started it, and I, I got into it myself, and we, we uh, made our own championship belts because we used to wrestle in the neighborhood with the kids, uh, Uncle Fester, me and my brothers, and so forth. And um, my brother Chad was better at it than me, I'll just be honest with you. And, of course, Mom could blow us all out of the water without even trying hard. But you have to be careful because that thing will run right up over your freaking finger, and it's going to hurt like hell. Believe me, it'll break that damn needle in your finger when it hits that bone and then you got to get a pair of pliers and pull that sucker out uh i know firsthand been there done that once you have the material and you use your pins or whatever to place it exactly where you want it you just run it under there and get the material right there where the needle will come down on it let me see i'll zoom in the camera if i can see if we can get a shot of that okay you can see that right there 
and you want the cloth right there at that edge okay and on the back side you've got this little lever that lets the, this piece here is called a foot and you let that foot down okay and the purpose of that is it puts pressure on it and there's these little uh, I, I don't know exactly what you call it these this little track under here that works and it it's actually what draws the material through through it like this it'll pull it right along okay and one of your controls let me zoom back out so we can get that control in there it's like this lever this this knob right here this knob dictates how fast it will draw that material through there if you want a real tight stitch you turn that sucker down to one or half or if you want to just make like a buttonhole you turn it to zero or uh, not a buttonhole but to sew a button on and then you set your stitch up here up here at the top let me see if I can get that and well you can see you can see all these p different patterns right here okay and you can use that to uh, to make different stitches now this where it's set on number nine here is a straight stitch what you will see in most cases that's what you're going to see in this damn camera don't want to focus there we go but you see it's just a, it'll be a straight stitch now i mean there's no thread in here it's been pulled out but you can see where the original holes is or you can move that lever that's up here and the camera's not getting that right here on this particular model you can move it left or right and it'll it'll dictate which stitch that you'll be using now, i don't know half of this crap okay ladies and gentlemen i have no freaking idea and i don't care because um that's not something i'm interested in i want straight stitches or i want the uh the uh, zigzag pattern to increase the area in which it's trying to tie down now when you start sewing on this thing I think I showed you where the reverse is over here the reverse button okay you want to make sure the initial part of the stitch is a little bit tougher than the rest of the stitch so what you're going to do and let's see if I can get it all in the same shot get it widened out here on this model instead of having a foot control you have a knee control right here where my knee is at see this this little lever okay and that's gonna I push it to the right with my knee and that's what will activate it okay i like it better than the foot control in beside and it's adjustable so if you got little short legs like i do you can move it down and it, it'll adjust but anywho you let your uh foot down onto your material you get it as straight as you can you use that little foot lever sometimes it'll hang up it's been a while since i used this sucker and <laughs> i forgot to reset my controller all right but you see it's pulling it through. I'm not helping it along. And look at there. Look, look. The need, the thread came out of the needle. That happens sometimes. And uh, of course you cannot see that from that distance. So I will move it right in there. And you can see right there that the thread has come out of the damn needle. What a pain in the freaking neck. No big deal. Now they make uh, things that will thread these these uh, little needles. They're a pain in the damn neck to use as far as I am concerned. I don't like to use them at all. Sometimes you got to pull that wad out of there. I'll tell you this, though. When you go to thread a needle, doesn't matter what kind. Okay, you set thread right there. You see how buggered up the end is and frayed? You got to get rid of that. So you get your pair of good sharp scissors, snip that sucker off. Wet it with your, with your mouth run your thread back down and through all the little gadgetry here now where it doesn't get wrapped around and screwed up and i did it any freaking way let me show you this is a mistake that you can make easy you see how it's wrapped around the back side of that stinking needle pain in a freaking neck and of course my damn camera doesn't want to work quite right if you leave it like that it's going to cause you all kind of trouble the hell are you still down there for? Should have pulled it the other damn way. But you want to make sure it's not wrapped around the needle. It's got to be coming into the front of the needle. Okay, like that. Then, you 
take that excess you push it through that little that little slot right here that little slot right there and make sure it's pushed out the back because if you don't you're in trouble okay and uh, you can see the original the work piece here it didn't sew a damn thing <laughs> so yeah of course you had to go back and do something with it let me back it off just a tad all right we're gonna do this again put it back in there let it down all right remember the button the reverse button all right let's back it up you've you've went a little way you want to reinforce that stitch you hit reverse and it backs it back up and let go and it comes back forward and you can vary the speed by how fast you push that control whether it be a foot control or the one like this one on the knee which i like the one for the knee a lot better and this is not really fast but it's pretty damn fast and you get to the other end you want to do the same thing you want to reinforce that stitch get all out to the edge you slow down get all the way out to that edge then you hit that button reverse it make it go backwards and like i said see it's moving on its own i'm not doing that all right when you've done it when you right out out there to the edge again pick it up pull your work out the back they they've got a little piece on here to cut the thread pan a damn neck if you ask me i don't like it so i just get a pair of scissors and these damn things are paying the neck too and you're done let me see if i can get the camera well you can probably see it okay but i'm gonna zoom in on it any damn way and it's like trying to look in a freaking mirror you always go the opposite damn direction but you see your your stitch right there all right the ends are reinforced so it's good and tight and on the back side you're gonna have a little bit of extra thread you probably can see that i don't know all right just all you gotta do is snip it off with a pair of scissors that's, that's all you gotta do or you can leave it for the extra camouflage effect of it okay now we're going to pull the gear up here and start working on it